So over here we have another species belonging to the sunflower family. And this one is called um, Artemisia abritanum and that in English is southern wormwood. This is suggested to come from, this is because it's suggested to come from southern Europe at least. And this one, when we compare it to the one we just saw earlier, it does not have a very a camphor taste. Instead, it has a very lemon taste or a citrusy taste. And also, it's very bitter compared to the other one we saw. Because it has these monoterpenoids, a higher concentration of these monoterpenoids. And it's traditionally been used in culinary and for medicinal purposes. For example, for medicinal purposes, it aids with um, things like indigestion and then to aid to sort of enhance digestion in itself. Because of its very various suit of chemicals, it also has other chemicals that are very poisonous, especially when put in liquor. Uh, thugone is one of those chemicals that are present in this um, plant and it is known that in smaller quantities even in alcohol to use as alcohol flavoring it can sort of cause poisoning so then having said that this plant compared to the one we saw earlier is more used for for making salads and for other culinary purposes but it's not highly used for flavoring alcohol at least this is because of those chemicals that i just mentioned earlier but it's also a landscaper's best friend as you can see it's very green and bright and it decorates the garden and then landscapers they love using it because it gives their their garden a high variety and then it also it's also one of the most pungent smelling Artemisias, at least for today, the ones that we saw. And having said that, if you come into a garden that has Artemisia, it's easy to pick up the smell because it has these secondary metabolites that gives it this uh, very citrusy flavor. Compared to South African one, it's not highly used for helping with things like um, breathing problems and the likes this is not clear why it might be because of the different interactions of the chemicals but it is rather used mainly in the culinary space and then a little bit to help with indigestion and the likes so we have seen two artemisias now we have talked about the african one and I think that gives us a close-up of what Artemisias are capable of doing for different ethnic groups and for different cultures.